ready. So my next guest is... So Martin Petersen, good uh, good afternoon and welcome to the EHI. Thank you for your time. Thank really, you. really happy uh, that you could be with me today. Little presentation. You're a member of the European Parliament since 2014, so on your second mandate, so quite a senior guy already in the European Parliament. Um, and today you're also Shadow Rapporteur for the EPVD, the Energy Performance of Buildings Directive. This is not your first time doing this, it's actually your second time, so you really must be into it, <laughs> into, into buildings. How come actually? Is this your passion? All of a sudden, such a technical thing as a buildings directive is becoming security politics. Uh, yeah. Bear in mind that buildings uh, stand for like 40% of the energy mm. consumption in Europe, so it is so important. For us, uh, looking at it also from the side of the heating, let's say, dimension of buildings, we really see that there is a lot to do. Uh, most buildings in Europe are old, uh, they were built before the 1960s and the heating systems inside those buildings are also old. I think what we are seeing today uh, is, is that uh, with the acceleration that we need to, to have in order to replace those, those old systems, we need more and more installers. Absolutely, it, it is a, a huge issue and, and, and the impression I get uh, speaking to colleagues from all over Europe is that it is a, a problem in all member states. I mean, the lack of qualified workforce in, in this context is, is a real impediment in, in terms of, of the renovation and upgrading in, in terms of energy efficiency in, in our building stock. So there is an opportunity you know, to attract new people into this profession. After all, these are you know, good jobs. It's, it's, it's quite complex because it also feeds into issues and questions like traditions and culture. And I have you develop your educational system, but you, you're absolutely right. There are tremendous opportunities in, in this sector. The technologies in the end that, that we want to have installed are pretty much similar across Europe. Yeah. And, or, or is this only a, a, a member state if you want to get into the you know, policy making? Is it only member states, uh, national governments that have to do something? What can Europe do? It is a, a European issue and I think there are benefits stemming from further harmonization or standardization of some of the technical appliances also. Because that would imply that you could have people working and crossing borders, working in other countries, uh, creating a more transparent market basically for the in installing and applying some of these new technologies, new products, new appliances that are out there. If I have qualifications coming from one country, mm -hmm. it would be good that these qualifications were I'm also applicable in, yeah. in another country. Are you having other guests apart I, from me? I, I might have other guests, but probably not as good as you. <laughs> Thank you. 